again with the Premier Podcast on Strength and Conditioning. We are live up in Pasadena with the creator of Katsu, Dr. Sato. Dr. Sato, thank you for visiting with us today, and hopefully we can ask some questions and get some great information. And for those of you guys, we'll go over and do a bunch of uh, research and more poorly information on how to use Katsu. And really just excited to meet Dr. Sato. So, Dr. Sato, thank you. Can we start with a little bit of history uh, on Katsu and uh, how it started, and more importantly, how did you come up with the original idea and, and really the notion for the research? So it was back in 1966 in, in the fall. Um, in Japan, there are temples where the Buddhist ceremony is held, where um, I was sitting there on my heels in a ceremonial formal style. And uh, that's my the inspiration. I have the inspiration. Do you know what it's like to sit on your heels? Yeah, actually, um, I uh, trained in martial arts in uh, Shotokan from the time oh. I was uh, six years old. In a, very, in a very traditional style of martial arts, and uh, we, yeah, uh, yeah, Shotokan we grew up in, in a Japanese style, and we had to uh, sit for long periods of time on our knees and uh, on the wood, and um, so, and uh, a lot of isometric holds, a lot of poses. So I was uh, sitting on my knees or heels for 20 minutes. And at that time I weighed 90 kilos. So. so then my legs fell asleep. And my calves pumped up as a result. And then I, I lost my sense of feeling. So I did a massage on my own. But because I was all pumped up, I thought that I was all pumped up. So I felt that by sitting on my knees, it would cause, a, at that time, what I felt was a restricted blood flow. So then, weight training, so at that time it, it hit upon me that uh, perhaps for weight training to uh, in, increase the uh, increase the muscles, perhaps the restricted blood flow had something to do with it. So the book was no so, inspired by sitting on my knees, at that time what I started with was a, a rubber band, rubber, which was actually a bicycle tube, that I started with that. So I, I tried to everywhere, for example, above the, over the calf, the knees, or here in the middle. So I worked, at the, like, I tried it on all these different places. That was uh, seven years of trial and error. To build up uh, know-how of my own body. So then, in 1966, and then, so I was inspired in 1966 from sitting on my heel. And then in 1967, well, keep in mind that the uh, sitting on my knees was uh, for 45 minutes. So then I used the rubber uh, bands. So I was trying it on with the, an, more than an hour. That was a complete uh, restricted blood flow. So, so, so basically occlusion. Yeah, full occlusion. Yeah. 
So what happened was a blood clot were generated. And it clogged up my uh, the the veins in my blood. Uh, typically, uh, it is called a uh, pulmon pulmonary embolism. Embolism. And so I I could no longer breathe and. So yeah, I gasped for air. So then, my uncle's hospital. And I went to my uncle's hospital. And I went to my uncle's hospital. And I was, uh, I got shots to, uh, to dissolve the blood clots. So I was saved. So then, moderator. That's when I realized that it needed to be a, a moderated restriction in um, blood flow. So you realized that full occlusion was not good, yeah. whereas just partial occlusion, like uh, restricting like venous blood flow and arterial blood flow, ended up becoming the idea. Mm. そうです。それで自分の体をまずそれやりましたね。そうやってたらお前のマリファ。と自分の。アプリシエイト。アプリシエイトユギミテリニオ。自分のものだと。自分のものだと。で、7年間かかりました。And and so for the arm, it was here. For the leg, it was here. And so simply by placing here and here. And, and seven years I found that, uh, that it has a good effects in the brains and also the internal organs everywhere.